Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. We are in, I think, a storage closet on the second floor of the shopping center. There's a key back here, but we need something to be able to reach it. It's under the pallet. So let's explore more of the second floor. Most of the doors I've tried. Looks like there's one down here that I haven't. That one or this one? Yeah, it was that one. Now I've tried it. Okay. I think there's some other unexplored stuff somewhere down here. This is where I came in. I came in from the exit. Oh, that doesn't sound good. There's bad things here. For a second, I thought this door was one way, but thankfully it's not. Helen's Bakery. Sweet, baked goods. It's bread. I'm not really hungry, so I guess I don't need to worry about it. I mean, you could choose to worry about the bread if you wanted to. Oh! Pair of tongs! I didn't even think that was an item to pick up. Well, that's probably going to be used to get the key, then. It's bread. Uh... No, not really? Actually, the stuff you're looking at is like donuts, cupcakes, maybe even pizza down there. This is bread, though. All oh, those bottom ones down there, those those round loaves, they look very rustic and nice. There are no employees around. I wonder where they all went. I'm just going to go back and get the key right now. Key taken with tongs. Does it have a name on it? There's a tag on the key that says, My Best Sellers. My Best Sellers? Is that the name of like a bookstore or something? Yeah, that certainly wouldn't be for like one of the rooms up here. It's definitely- Oh, fuck! Actually, wait, I- I think there's more than one. Yeah, there's more than one. Oh, there's a bunch. Forget it. Forget it. I'm not gonna shoot them. Yeah, it's probably one of the stores here. I hear weird noises. Oh, oh, hi. Let's go the other way. Natalie Shoes. Natalie Shoes, is that their name? Their last name is Shoes? I respect that. My best sellers, go! Ah. Hmm. Maxine's on the shelf. Some of them look interesting, but it's really not the time for that. Our 
lop sellers. None of the books are very interesting, just the kind that I can buy anywhere. Ammo. Fair is foul, and foul is fair. Put these books out of order. What? Is there a keypad? Ah. Uh. No feedback on how many numbers. these books out of order. Okay, where do I find the books? There's gotta be some books with some numbers attached to them? Somewhere? Oh. Shakespeare Anthology 2, 3, 5, 1, 4. Put them out of order? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, they have things on them. Yeah, so I just drew what was on each book spine onto a piece of paper and then figured out where they connected in between the different book spines. Because some of them have like half of the number and then the other half is on a different one. Assembled it all together and I think the password is 6425. What's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters? They have come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise, despoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? I am Claudia. So what? Remember me, and your true self as well. Also, that which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Claudia, right? Did you do all this? It was the hand of God. Wait! I don't get it. What does she want me to remember? Okay, so the cult is back on their bullshit. And they do need Heather. It's like a chanting noise in the music. Does 
the elevator finally work? is doing falling down from the ceiling. Anyway, I guess that explains the static from just before. But all it's picking up is static. I wonder if it's broken. No, I think it's working quite well. Why do I still have the Shakespeare... the Shakespeare books? <laughs> Can I drop them? Uh, let's adjust the volume. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It sounds like there's a lot of them. What am I hearing? Is it even worth shooting? It sounds like there's a million dogs. Okay, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm gonna put down some beef jerky. Oh, it's in Splash. Okay, it's working. God, dogs, 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 I just hear them everywhere howling. Ooh, three health drinks. An ampule. So that's the thing in this game, too. It doesn't look like there's anything useful on the shelf. This again, looking at it makes my head hurt, but at the same time, it's like so familiar. I know I've forgotten something really important, but I also have the feeling that I'd be better off not remembering it. Well, I think we've come too far to just simply not remember it. I think Heather's in it pretty deep. Books and magazines here, but I have no time to read them. This is a really damn good looking game. Coming off of just playing the first Silent Hill, there's definitely just so much more detail in the environment. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna run towards the chewing noise. If I walk past it, maybe it- no, it noticed.
Oh, Jesus Christ. I still don't have my damn flashlight. Where even am I now? You know, a big difference in the feel of Silent Hill 3 over the first one is in the first one, you basically never really had to run. I think there were a couple instances where you either sort of had to or it was in your best interest because it'd be a waste of ammo to f stay and fight. But I feel like this game is like really keeping me on the run. I mean, yeah, I could shoot these dogs in that big thing, but that'd probably take up all of my ammo. I've got 20 rounds plus the 10 in it, so I've got 30 rounds for like four or five dogs and a, a huge enemy. Yeah, like I feel like I'm really not supposed to fight most of these things. So I feel much more panicked. I can't calmly explore most of the environment. Most of the time I'm just freaking running. Well, hello. Letter's hanging halfway down from the ceiling. Even if I stand on the table and stretch my hands out, I can't reach it. If only I had something long to snag it. Alright, so that's my goal. In the meantime... Let's just run! <laughs> Oh god, there's, yeah, there's two of them. Three of them. There's no way you're supposed to fight. Shit, dead end. It's good to see the tactical rotation has uh, passed down from Harry to Heather. I say passed down as if Harry's genetic material is responsible for Heather, at least partially, but I don't think that's true at all, because Heather is entirely a creation of Alessa. First aid kit, handgun bolts, handgun bolts. They're giving me quite a bit of ammo, actually. But, remembering my experience in the first Silent Hill, especially with the last boss fight, and Sybil, where I ran out of ammo, I'm going to save it. Whoa. Yes. Thank God. <laughs> Look at that. It's actual shadows cast by the light when I turned it on. I'm impressed with the PS2's processing power. It's so much more powerful than the first one. Run more this way. Ugh, filthy toilet. Just looking at it gives me goosebumps. Ooh, bleach. Don't know what that could be used for exactly. Is someone actually in there? Uh... I can't tell if that's a joke or just actually creepy. Mm. Yep, that's creepy. That's not a joke. That's not funny. Whew. It's soaking with blood. There's no one here. Did someone respond, or is it just me? Mm. 
Ugh. Okay, the doggy, I will shoot. Oh, mm. Mm. maybe not. Damn, that thing's fast. Not the dog, but the other thing. I thought I'd be able to shoot the dog and the other thing would have so much trouble catching up, but... Oh, wait a minute. This is the same damn shop where we first encountered that huge thing. But... It's different. We really are descending further and further into Silent Hill. Further into the other world. Clothes are awfully dirty. They're stained with blood spatters? They weren't like this before. What could have happened? This statue wasn't here before, was it? by the way. Wow, Heather can take a lot of hits. We're only yellow. I might as well take a health drink, though. I don't know if blue is the best or if it can go up to green. It's kind of bluish. Did I explore all the places there? Hmm, there's one more up here. Yeah, I don't think there's any need to go back there. So, where does that leave me? Down here, down this way? Where it looks like I can get to the whole rest of the place? It says there's a telephone over there, too. Wait, there's just a concrete wall here? Shit, the map shows it is open. What the hell is this? Wait, I've been here before. This is the ladder, right? Yeah, I don't think the bleach is going to help me get there. That is all I have to work with, right? Yeah, just the bleach. Is there any description for the bleach? Sort of stuff you'd use to clean a toilet. I think I have the same kind at home. Is that a hint that I should use this on that bloody toilet? Bottle says danger, do not mix. Or maybe that's a hint that I need to mix an explosive or something. <laughs> should I try to go use it on the toilet? Uh, question is, where the fuck is the toilet? 
Well, I guess it's one of the bathrooms up here. All right, yeah, sure. I've accidentally ended up in this room. Uh, whoops. This room right here, right next to the toilet, and I just noticed something that I didn't see before. This. Warning, when leaving the room, be sure to turn out the lights. It will be obvious if they are not switched off. There's a light switch. It's on right now. Turn off the light. Uh... Does that actually do anything? Does that help me in any way? Okay. Right. Let's <laughs> clean the toilet. I can't use that here. Dang it! I don't know where to go. Alright, I've come back to the land of the ravenous dogs. I think I'm gonna shoot this dog and it looks like there's a bunch of doors down here near the save point that I haven't tried. Sorry, puppy. And these have all been tried? Yeah. But not the one all the way, not the three doors actually all the way down here. those work. I should probably go save while I'm here. Okay, there's a bunch of doors down here that I haven't tried. Like, a whole bunch of them. Down here? This is where I came in. God, all this blood on the floor. Right, and I never went this way. Two dogs. All right, well, they just chowing down. That's fine. Okay, none of these doors work. I don't know where that leaves me. Uh. God, they sound so angry. Are there any doors that I have not tried? Ah, I got a hanger. I didn't realize I could take the hanger from here. Okay, um. Hmm. Will that be strong enough to get the ladder? I guess it's gotta be, I mean... I don't think there's anything else I missed. Certainly hope not. Alright, let's go back to the ladder. Please work, please work, please work. just a cutscene or an animation. I, I actually have to press up to go up the ladder. That's new.
What fresh horrors await me up here? The second floor. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.